Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Echo from the Bad Batch. So I am super excited for this figure. Really happy to finally complete the whole Bad Batch crew. And from the looks of this, I think this looks fantastic. And of course, it comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see the figure. He's got his backpack on already, but you also get this claw thing that we did not see in the show. But it's okay. It's still a cool accessory. You got a DC-17 blaster pistol and his helmet. And down here, you got Star Wars The Bad Batch and Echo. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around. And you got Star Wars The Black Series again down there. And there's the side with the artwork. Pretty cool picture, even though it's got that claw thing on. It's still a cool picture. In the background, you can see their ship, the Marauder. That's pretty sweet. And this color for the Bad Batch is very nice. There's a small window on the top of the box. And on the bottom of the box, you got the barcode and all this small print that no one reads. And there's the back. Same picture as the side. Short bio in five different languages. Echo is number 11 in this little Bad Batch line. And then you got some more crap down there that no one reads. All right, I'm going to get Echo open and let's take a look at him. All right, so here is Echo out of the box, and let's just get a good look at him. We'll start up here with his head and face, and I must say, that this face looks great. You know, going from an animated character to an action figure, I think they did a nice job on this. You know, with the sunken in cheeks, the pale white skin, you know, very gaunt looking. It looks good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. And I think the little silver knobbies on his head look great. You know, nicely done, nice clean paint. I think they all look really, really nice. Yeah, I got no problems with those. And as far as the cybernetic implant that's on his head, I really, really wish they would have painted some nice, vibrant yellow and red in here. You know, because in the show, this thing had some lights on it. They kind of need to be there. I don't know why they didn't do that, but this is what we got. But the sculpt of it looks really good. Got some nice detail in here coming around. Got some little things sculpted in back here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little implant. And from the neck down, I think the armor is just spectacular. You know, the undersuit, you can see the, the little lines on the neck right here. Chest armor looks really good. Got the skull there. Got this up here. Red lines, very clean. Got a little dirtiness and some scratches over here. Nice lines. The abdomen looks really, really nice. The back of the chest armor, you know, looks like this. This is pretty neat. Got these little straps there. All this back here looks really, really cool. Yeah, I love this. And as far as arms, got a little shoulder pad going on up here with some dirtiness, a little red stripe. This is pretty nice right here, this little sculpted bit. Love that. Nice <laughs> scomp link. It's pretty cool. Now, in the show, I think there was some yellow back here. It's okay. It's not there. At, at least they put the red on this side. Um, but that's a nice sculpt. You know, this whole thing, you know, very cyborg-like. It just looks really, really cool. And that's what the end of the scomp link looks like. Um, yeah, it, it looks just like it's supposed to look. And for the left arm, you know, shoulder pad looks great. Nice clean red line. Great wrinkles on this undersuit on both sides. This little van brace right here has some little doodad sculpted in there. Nice red paint. The inside is just smooth. but it, it looks very nice. And he's got a little armor plate on the back of the left hand with a black glove. And the belt is pretty much just a standard clone trooper belt with some pouches. But, you know, it's a great sculpt. I love this belt. Coming around, more pouches, more pouches. Got the thermal detonator on the back and then more pouches coming around. It's a very cool belt. And then the comma. Love this black and red comma. Great sculpt in here. Just a really cool texture with some pouches there. Very cool. Um, and then got his holster on this side. Got a little stray. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, this little bit of stray red. Yeah, it's okay. And then the, yeah, for the most part, I think the red's pretty clean. I like this. So this comma's pretty stiff, but I could sort of bend it out of the way, and you can see that the legs are pretty much just very clean, armored legs. You know, <laughs> and There's not much to say about the legs, with the exception of the knees. The, uh, the knees have these discs here on either side, and it just makes them look even more like a cyborg. You know, they look like joints. Pretty cool. Yeah, these look great. Shin armor, very basic armor. You know, not much to say about it. And then the shoes are just standard clone trooper shoes. Got a nice sculpted little bit there. The tops look really good. Soles look pretty good. Yeah, from top to bottom, this figure looks fantastic. All right, so next let's take a look at articulation on Echo. So you do have some side to side at the head. There's not much in the way of down, but he does have some pretty good up. And there's a little bit of forward and back at the neck as well. He's got some pretty good tilt as well as some side to side at the neck. So these little shoulder pads will ride up and over this armor so the arms get up that far and they can rotate all the way around. And he's got some pretty good butterfly joints tucked up in there as well. Both arms are single elbow and they both get past 90. There's a swivel on the left elbow and there's also a swivel at the right elbow. 
Now on the right side, despite going past 90 that way, it also goes back this way. On the left hand, there is a swivel at the wrist as well as a side-to-side -side hinge. There's some twist at the midsection. He's got some decent crunch, some very good back, as well as some pretty good side-to-side -side tilt. There's an upper thigh swivel, and if you rotate the legs out just a little bit, they can get up that far. They go back that far, and they go out about that much. And if I flip this comma out of the way, you can see that he has single knees that get way past 90. And there is a swivel at the knee joint. Feet go down to there, they only go up to about right there, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So just like the other figures in the Bad Batch, I think Echo has really good articulation. And as far as accessories, there is the claw that he comes with. This is pretty neat. It's a great sculpt. It comes apart right there, and it is a rectangular peg, so that can go together. Nice silver paint, great detail in here. Great sculpt right there. There's the hole for it to hook onto the scomp link. The claws look pretty good. Um, it's a cool accessory, even though we didn't see it in the show. It's still pretty cool that they included it. And as far as hooking this on, that just goes on there, right over the scomp link, and it'll only go so far. Now, this thing is long. It does stick out. I don't know that I'll ever display him like this, but it's still a pretty cool accessory. And there's a look at the DC-17 blaster pistol that he comes with. This is pretty much just like the other ones we've seen. It's cast in a dark gray plastic. Great looking detail all in here. Love this. It's pretty much the same on both sides. Yeah, it's a nice weapon and a necessary weapon for Echo. And as far as holstering this thing, there's the holster. This thing is super tight. Yeah, once that's in, that is definitely in. There is no chance of that falling out. And I think that thing looks really, really good in its holster. And as far as him holding this, you know, the left hand is a gripping hand. There is no trigger finger on the left hand. So that looks kind of goofy. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do something about this right now. I'm gonna take this nice sharp blade, carefully split between the index finger and the middle finger. And I'm going to try not to slice my own finger very carefully. Yep, still going. And then just carefully bend this out a little bit. Let's see how far we've gotten. Okay, it's getting there. Yeah, getting there. There. Now he's got a trigger finger. So now let's see what this thing looks like in his hand. Much better. Much better. Much better. Yes. Okay, the trigger finger now goes through the trigger guard right on the trigger. And that looks a lot more natural. Yeah, I like this so much better. I think he holds that very well. He looks good holding that, and yeah, I'm happy now. And before I put the backpack on, let's take a look at this helmet real quick. So the 99 up here is really nice. Love the slit for the visor. This red is super clean right there. Love this and this. This is very nice. I mean, this looks fantastic. What a cool helmet. Nice fine detail in here, right there. The uh, Come on, rotate. The cutout in the back, yeah, like that. So it, it joins together right there. Like when you get it out of the box, it's like this. It's hooked together. And then to put it on his head, you have to separate it. Okay. That's what the top looks like. Love this. Um, it's a it's a awesome looking helmet. So yeah, putting this on his head, you kind of have to separate the bottom a little bit. And that will just go like that. Um, okay, that fits flush. Now trying to hook this back together is dang near impossible. It does not go. Just the shape of his head and the size of this down here will not allow you to re-peg that. Just so you know, it's <laughs> it's kind of weird. Sometimes it wants to sit forward a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get this now. Nope, it ain't going. Nope. Ha, there. I gave it a gorilla squeeze and it <laughs> it went back together. <laughs> I'm happy now. Yeah, what an awesome helmet. And with the helmet on, you are a little bit limited in head movement, especially when this is together now. Um, he's got a little bit of up and down, not much in the way of tilt now, but oh, you still have the side to side, but God, that looks amazing. And last but not least, we have his backpack, and I love the look of this. This gold looks awesome right here. It looks like a vent. This is beautiful. Love the sculpt in here. This looks good. The red up here is very nice. Looks like it's got two like canisters on the side that look amazing. The two antenna on top are very nice. They're a little bit bendy, yeah, but it's fine. But yeah, what a good looking backpack. And they designed this backpack with the world's smallest peg, but it has this cutout right here that will engage this back here. So it's actually pretty stable. So once you peg that in, the bump on his back will engage the cutout in the backpack so it cannot rotate. And it's pretty stable once it's on. And there he is, backpack, helmet, Pistol, yeah, what an awesome looking figure. 
And that's what he looks like on the shelf. And man, he looks just beautiful there. And he holds that pistol so much more naturally now with a trigger finger. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, but what an awesome batch of figures. Even the Imperial side. I mean, what a great line of figures, this whole Bad Batch line. It's just awesome. Even Omega, I think it's pretty cool, but they all look so good together. Super happy with Echo. And with the awesome articulation in the elbows, you know, you can make him salute. And I think that's a really good look there. And I think just having the helmet under his arm, pistol holstered, and him saluting like this, I think also looks so good. So yeah, top to bottom, an amazing figure. I mean, <laughs> this is one of the best ones they've done. This looks so good. I have no real complaints. I mean, small complaint there. There really should have been some paint here, but it's, it's fine. But man, just the overall look of him just looks so good. I love this figure. And again, this trigger finger, super easy to do. You know, just take a brand new blade and just split between the index and middle fingers. You know, this is almost necessary to make him hold the pistol more naturally. Yeah, this may be something that you may consider doing, but I think it makes a huge difference. And the helmet looks amazing. This thing can be a little fiddly sometimes. You just have to just squeeze the snot out of it. It, it goes together. You saw it. It goes together. It's a little frustrating, but yeah, it does work. Just be patient with it. But I love the look of this helmet. That subtle red, the slit for the visor is just awesome. Love the 99. All this looks good. Yeah, this is a killer looking helmet. And the claw. I don't know that I'll ever display him with this, but it is a pretty cool accessory. So I'd have to say, I am beyond excited for Echo. I am super happy to have this figure. This is one of the best ones I've done, I think. Could not be more pleased with this, but I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of Echo from The Bad Batch. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.